Welcome, 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 welcome to part 2 of the vlog. If you haven't watched the part 1 of the vlog, I recommend you watching the video before you continue. Let's have a recap of what happened in part 1. We reach to the base station, cross two checkpoints and reach the top. That ends of part 1. In the part 2, our mission is to search for a branch and hoist the flag. Then national anthem and way back to home. Climbing up to the mountain is far easier than going down from top. It's harder than we thought. You will enjoy the video, so watch this video till the end and like the video and share your opinion in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's go! We enjoyed the view for some time and hydrated ourselves with water. And my fitness tracker shows an elevated heart rate of 163 beats per minute. It's quite common when you go for a jog or for a mini workout. It took us 33 minutes to reach here to the top from the base station. Our next mission is to hoist a flag, so we need a solid branch of tree to hold the flag. There are many branches here and we need a straight long branch. We got a branch and it's time to pin the flag to the stick. As flags usually have a sleeve for rope, we are using the same sleeve here. It's ready now. We have a gap between two rocks naturally and, and it's the best spot to fix the stick. We are adding rocks to fill the gap and hold the stick tightly. Perfect. This is just a small mountain, but the feeling we get is equal to the climbing up Mount Everest. Usually mountain or hill climbers display their national flag. Just like this and we are feeling the same. Before we salute our national flags, let's wear a seed flag on shirt. This is a common tradition wearing a flag on outfit. Different varieties of mini flags are available, most of them are plastic based flags. They are harmful to the environment and they are not biodegradable. They don't degrade that easy. These are seed flags. They are eco-friendly and biodegradable. Just after use, you can bury them in soil and it rises into your plant. And most interesting part is, you can make them too. Awesome right? More about the seed flag on another video. That video will be out soon. Check the description for the links. Let's spin the seed flags. Then it's time now. Our mission is successful. Just like in schools and colleges after the event, refreshments. One of my shoebags got separated and I am left with no choice. I have to wear this until I go home to protect my feet. We had a lot of fun till now. Before we leave, let's check the internet speed once. Nowadays internet speeds are not so bad in my village. Speeds are quite good. Speeds are quite good for everyday usage. As this place is an isolated one and probably it's the highest place in the surroundings. So I'm expecting very good internet speed here. Not so great. 6.9 Mbps and 13 Mbps, huge difference between tests. Let's have a final view from top before we leave. And our last mission is to reach home and check the flag if it's visible from a home or not. We climbed up to the mountain in this way and to go back in the same path is not an interesting idea. So we are choosing a different path. We will start the journey from here and follow the path. 
whatever looks right to us. We are not sure about it. Let's start our journey and see what happens. <laughs> looks like we need to crawl all over to the base station like this. Full of trees. Harder than we thought. But it's fun. <laughs> Looks like some animal is been here. Fresh poop. And some human traces. It's a part of a sandal. Need to be careful here, it's very slippery. He is struggling to pass through the bushes. It's difficult to hold the camera and taking support from trees to descend safely. We found a small cave like shelter and it's very cool here when compared to outside. Look at my shoe about to completely break apart. We are in the middle. We are confused how to go. We came halfway here and we need to go a bit more. We came so far. Let's go. Our root planner is chilling on a branch and thinking how to go. Meanwhile, Pound found a way. Shures and I am going in a different way, and Pound is going in a different path. We are separated now. I can see the flag clearly from here. But it's too small when compared to other trees, but it's clearly visible. Let me zoom in. So shaky. We are about to reach the base as we choose different paths instead of coming to this point, we lost our path in the halfway and reached here. We are going back. Meanwhile, Pawn, who chose a different path, went directly to the point where we parked our ride. Bye. What else? What a beautiful day. We are going back home. A lot of fun. Bye bye. So, final mission is to look for the flag from my house. That's it. I can see it but it's too small to see in the camera because the ratio of the flag to mountain is very low. We went to different locations to see the flag but it's the same story again, very small. Next time we will plan even bigger things. Thanks for joining us. Like the video and share your opinion in the comments and I will see you in the next one. This is Ram signing off. Keep exploring infinity.